Hey everyone, welcome to Astro Scoop. This is Jeff, the astrology coaching channel that does a deep dive into the planets and signs of the zodiac. Today's video, the first decanate of Pisces. So the symbol of Pisces are two fish or fishes swimming in opposite directions, which represents the duality of the sign. One thing you'll always be is idealistic. There is something in the Pisces personality. Part of it is the co-traditional ruler is Jupiter and the modern ruler is Neptune. And the combination of Neptune and Jupiter create a magnification and an amplification of faith and devotion in humanity and people in general. You want to create and you want to just basically meld and melt into. You want to get flowing with the positive juices that are the earth and people and the currents of life. As a Pisces, you need to be in the flow of life. The first decanate of Pisces, these Pisces folks are very spirited and often spiritual in nature. And there's something almost metaphysical about them. So even if they have practical jobs, their main thing and their main mode is feeling, creativity, and definitely a marked dreaminess. So I wanted to give early Pisces people and Pisces people that have a birthday coming up in the week from March 3rd to the 10th or 11th, which is the second Pisces period or second decan. This is March 7th, 2023. This is the full moon in Virgo. So here's the sun at 16 of Pisces opposed the moon in Virgo. And this correlates to the second decan of Pisces. So these people are Pluto decanate people. And I have other Pisces videos that explains the decans. If you are interested in that, please check out my water sign playlists. But this particular day is very important for Pisces people, probably even more than last year, because not only do we have the sun, Neptune, and Mercury all in Pisces, but Saturn here, right after the full moon, the next, uh, very, very soon after the full moon, Saturn is going to enter Pisces. That we're going to get the structure and seriousness of Saturn in the melancholy sign of Pisces. So we're probably going to see some structuring with health, possibly more problems with vaccines or viruses, and we're going to have to see how that plays out in terms of liquids, drugs, anything to do with hidden notions and hidden meetings. That's all Pisces. But this is also going to be a great time for all Pisces people in the next two and a half years. This Saturn is going to conjunct your sun and it will also conjunct any other Pisces planet that you have. So it will give you that structure, strength, endurance, and hopefully some drive to get your creative juices flowing. This is really, really important. So happy birthday to all you Pisces people. Let's do a little brief meditation. So Pisces people and everyone else, take a deep breath in and out. Breathe in those creative juices and breathe them right back out. And for Pisces people, it's very easy for a Pisces planet to get overloaded. So there's many things in psychology where people are highly sensitive. And that can mean different things as far as your nervous system, as far as your emotions, your ability to regulate or even take something too far with people, positive or negative. So it's really, really important for Pisces planets to meditate, rest, recharge, and not get carried away on that sea of dreams and the fantasy. And Pisces has to look out for themselves. Pisces people, you have to be more selfish at times. And, and basically that means just self-care. 
and know that you're valuable and worthy and not always tending to others' needs. Until the next time, stay safe and be yourself.